In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a UUID generator from a menu item in Google Sheets with some Google Apps scripts. But first, we should probably know what a UUID is. So let's head over to Wikipedia for the overly complex definition. So universally unique identifier is the definition for the acronym here. And it is it contains a 128 bit label which is then split into first eight characters, followed by a dash, then four, then another four, another four, followed by another 12. Now, these are pretty damn close to being uh, unique, but not 100% unique. They will be enough to virtually guarantee that there will not be any duplicates in the range that you generate from this UUID generator though. So why would you want to use this? Well, these are generally used in data science to assign to sets of data so it could be sets of products users that you have or a, a token connection with uh, with a client or something like that so we would probably want to generate something like this along a column next to a bunch of data and make sure that's all unique okay so my idea is just to get a familiarity with using uuids in google sheets where we can first select a range then up on a menu item up the top here select get UUID and generate the UUIDs for that range. Let's go ahead and do just that. Now I have a starter sheet in the link in the description below for you to access. So go ahead and make a copy of that. And when you come back, we'll dive in. Hey, you're back, good stuff. So on my left-hand side here, I still have my sheet of UUIDs. I'm going to uh, select all of those and delete them. And then I've gone into extensions and app script. So um, I'm just going to get rid of this files library services bar here because it takes up far too much space. And we can get into things. So in your starter sheet, it should look a little bit like this. With a bit of introduction about what a UUID is. And then we've got two functions here, an on open function, which is a simple trigger that will run every time your spreadsheet will open. And then the set UUID function here. So let's go ahead and create our menu item in the on open function first. So first we're going to create a constant variable. That's one that doesn't change. So const UI equals spreadsheet app get UI. Then we are going to create our menu. So UI.create menu. And what are we going to call this? We'll just call this Yagi. You can call it, call it whatever you want, manage or something like that, tools perhaps. Okay, and then we, uh, we need to add an item and that item is going to be called create UUID. And then uh, that's going to call a function which will be called set UUID. We need to build the UI, so we need to add, oops, add to UI. There we go, cool. Now with these sort of static results that we're generating, we're doing it in the same way that Google Sheets normally does when they're generating static results here. So here, for example, we've got split to text column, so you select a range and that will split uh, left or right to text depending on where you want. Same with data instruction as well. They're not usually done in functions like the, the equals and then the function formulas that you have. Okay, so we've got this set up here. We display the static UUID. Let's create this little function here. And it's only a little. And oh, let's give ourselves a bit of space so we can see what we're going, what we're doing. Okay, so let's go const again. And let's get our spreadsheet. So ss equals spreadsheet app. Get active spreadsheet. Or get active, depending on what you prefer. And then const, let's grab the sheet that we're working in. So we'll say const sheet equals, we'll call the spreadsheet app again, spreadsheet get active spreadsheet or active sheet I should say and then we want to grab the selected range so const range equals sheet dot get active range this one here cool so we're going to keep it easy for this tutorial when I have uh, when I select a range like this so I click on cell a3 hold shift down to a12 that's going to be the active range. If I hold control and do something somewhere else, it's always going to be the last range that I select here. There is another method that you could use called sheet.get 
uh, active range list and that will get all those ranges but we're keeping things simple and just getting the single range okay so we want the condition that if there are no ranges selected we just want to return and do nothing so there, there's nothing on the sheet that has been selected do nothing so we'll say if if there are no ranges range will return undefined so we can use the negative here so if not a range then return and let's return a little toast just so people aren't freaking out going hey why isn't my script working so we'll toast make a little decoration and that'll come up in the bottom right hand side of the sheet to let you know what's going on and say no range selected in this sheet cool all right so if there is a range selected in the sheet and we'll just reduce this down to one here hold shift down and just get that little range there we want to do some stuff first we need to get the row length so how many rows there are and we also need to get the column length as well so we can generate our uuid array so let's go hmm, let's create two variables the first one is going to be called row len equals range dot get and then from the range we can use the range get num rows and then we can do something very similar for columns so const uh, col lang equals range get num columns done so that'll get those uh, row length and the column length now let's set up an array that we're going to build out so we'll say let uuids equals empty array now we use two for loops to generate this array. So for, first one is going to be, usually we use I here or let, let I, but let's go let R for rows to make things more intuitive because we'll be nesting to arrays. Let row equals zero. And if the row is less than the row length, stop. And then we want to, update by one so r plus plus close that open up a curly brackets new line and let's set row so we want to create an array of rows so it's going down the rows here we also want an array of columns here so all of the row or column items here or cell i items in each one of the rows so we are going to say let row equal empty array and now we will replicate this for loop up here with our columns. So for let C for column equal zero, semicolon, C is less than col length, semicolon, C plus plus. Curly braces, return, and now we can create our utility sync. So now we need to push uh, for each cell in each row, we need to create a unique user ID. So we're going to say row dot push a cell item. And this is gonna be super easy. We can use the utilities class here from Google Apps Script. And that has its very own baked in get UUID. And that's it. So that will push in each for each cell item in each row that will add in a unique user ID into this row here. Now we need to put that row item each time we iterate through each row into our UUID. Underneath this column for loop, we're just going to say UUIDs dot push row. And we can give that a bit of a cheeky test. So we can set console.log UUIDs. Let's see what happens here. And we will change this from on open to set UUIDs and click run. First time we run, we have authorization to do. No worries. Okay, cool. So now we have a unique user ID for each one of these row items here. Let's add that into our cell. And all we have to do now is go range. So we're grabbing this range up the top here on 39 dot set values. And what values are we setting? 
our UUIDs that we generated. Hit save. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a space in here so save is available to me, and that'll stop this shutting down each time I refresh the Google Sheet, which I'm about to do now. And we're going to hit cancel here to keep that in place. And Yagi's popped up. Fantastic. Let's select a range. Let's go first, maybe A2 to 23. Maybe we've got a bunch of data here we want some unique IDs for. And we'll go Yagi, create UUID. And there it is. Nice. And we can uh, maybe do this across a range like we did initially for the first example. Create UUID. And there it is again. We've just generated our unique user IDs for our sheet. So that's it. Super simple, creating unique user IDs for your Google Sheet using Google Apps Script. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.